Hey guys, Stove here. Today we're going to go over keyboard and mouse settings for Star Citizen Patch 3.7. Uh, they've added a couple of new things and the last video that I made about this is a little bit outdated so we're just going to jump into this because I'm going to try to make it quick but uh, I did feel it needed a little update so without further ado here we go. Alright, cinematic cameras of course off, vibration no, uh, show hints no, context, context dialogue subtitles no, I'm really just going to go over the important ones here. Um, so let's find that for us. G save defaults on. That is defaulted on uh, to yes. So just keep that as is. Speed limiter defaults on. I set it to no. G safe when boosting. Yes. Enable flight proximity. No. This is the new hover mode feature. So they've changed it to this. It's defaulted on to yes. I turn it into no and it's just like flying uh, in 3.5 without hover mode for me. I can land nose first in a hangar on the ground, things like that. Uh, I don't like anything to kind of assist my ship, so I turn that off. Uh, that is one of the newer for, uh, options for 3.7, by the way. Um, let's see here. Coupled mode defaults on. Yes, we all want to fly in coupled mode. Flight lead reticle. Yes, I do use lead pip. Weapon gimbal lock by default. Yes. Snap pip to target. No. This is an auto aim feature. I don't really like all the auto aim features, so I turn this off. And of course, we have third person traverse camera shake and star map zoom speed set to max. So that takes care of that. And we'll jump right into key bindings here. And I'll kind of give a, a reason why of all these things. This used to be the old hotkey for flight systems ready in 3.4 for the advanced keyboard. So I'm really used to just hitting 8 when I jump in my ship. And uh, yeah, that works. K is to toggle open and close doors. There's currently a bug. Sometimes you can't get it closed with toggle. That's why Alt or right Alt K is closed and uh, vice versa for the lock key as well. Okay, nothing really to see there except for I do change the eject and self-destruct to have an Alt sequence with the keys so I just don't accidentally press them. Moving along to view, uh, nothing really special here except for I change look behind to number one. So that's my rear camera. Uh, you can just kind of use it to look behind your ship, like this. There you go. Very easy. And moving along to scroll up here. I believe that was view. Yes. So nothing really spectacular there or anything crazy. Movement, this is where it kind of gets crazy. So we have all these things are pretty much standard, the pitch and all that. I've never really changed any of this. Match target velocity really doesn't work. It's set to M. Uh, I don't think that's worked since 3.5. Uh, don't take my word for it. It's not something I really ever use, but as far as I understand, that still doesn't work. But that is an option from 3.4 when it did work. Space break. Uh, mouse button 4, of course, just like in the last video. I do move this to my mouse because I feel like you need break on your mouse so you can have uh, all the control for your left hand on your control keys, W, A, S, D, Q, and E for roll, of course. So, yeah, this just frees up your uh, movement key hand. Uh, so I, I highly recommend you do space break on your mouse. So speed limiters, I really don't use these guys, so I've kind of set this to uh, left control mouse wheel for the regular speed limiter, and the uh, acceleration limiter, right alt mouse wheel was the default hotkey. But again, I don't really use these because I feel like they limit your ship, and uh, you just really don't need them if you learn how to pulse W. So decoupled mode is also on my mouse, and again, that's to help with movement. It's kind of just like a space break in that feature where you kind of need it on your mouse. That way uh, you can still control your ship with, again, your left hand. So nothing changes there. Space bar is still strafe up. Uh, control is strafe down. Very standard. Uh, I do have speed limiter toggle set to C. Again, I really don't use this, but it's there just in case. Never know, right? Um, let's see, moving along, caps lock for ESP toggle. I highly recommend you do this. This is not bound to anything by default, but sometimes you're going to want to turn this off uh, to get a better aim assist or, or, or to assist you better in aiming uh, because it is an aim assist. So sometimes it's just kind of wonky and you can toggle it on and off at will. Uh, your HUD will show this and I'll show this in a second. Cruise control toggle, C, double tap, 
So you can set things to double tap in this game. All you got to do is hit Y after you set the hotkey and then it'll be set to double tap feature. So if I double tap C, it just turns on cruise control. And since I don't have a speed limiter, it just tries to go max. Uh, afterburner, of course, is left shift. Uh, the landing system is in, hold down in for auto land inside the square. Uh, B is quantum travel and of course hold down B to initiate it. Now this is the new feature, the VTOL feature. Uh, it is bound to J by default, but that's my change auto gimbal to manual or fixed uh, hotkey. So this of course got changed to right alt J. This is really going to be only be used on like a ship like the Black Cutlass and other VTOL ships, but they do spawn with the VTOL down. Uh, well, after you take off, you're going to need to hit alt J or J on your hot keyboards to uh, change them horizontal so you can get the best out of our speeds out of your ship otherwise it's going to hinder your ship's flight and you're going to kind of be in hover mode speed so always remember that this is bound to j by default for you guys and to change it somewhere where you need it again right alt j seems to be perfect for me i don't really bind right alt to anything but this just makes sense because it's right next to it so you can just pop it on pop it off okay uh moving along targeting this is where I kind of change things around. R on your keyboards are going to be the change gimbal feature from fixed manual to auto. Uh, I change it to target whatever my reticle is pointing at. So I can point my crosshairs at something, hit R, and target whatever that is, okay? Uh, T is the other feature I use here the most, which is cycle hostile targets. So I can just cycle through, boom, 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 boom. And Y, of course, is cycle friendly. I don't mess with uh, the nearest target or anything like that cycle target will get them up just fine and if they're really near me I can just hit R anyways to target them right so that's the way I use my target keys it's just three keys instead of you know one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I just use three keys instead of ten uh, you should too I'm gonna be honest with you, you should too because um, it's a lot of clutter there and this kind of makes it seem like there's so much going on when really you don't really need all of those keys so cycle sub-target, I have that bound to mouse wheel up. Very easy. So if I want to cycle to an engine, boom. If I want to cycle back, hit it again, and it cycles back to just the normal targeting feature because there's only one sub-target right now, and that's only engines. So nothing really fancy there. Uh, radar, of course, is the same as it always is. You know, you just hit tab, and you go into your ping mode, or you can scan a ship with left click. Right click is ping. So moving along... Uh, we go down to target hailing. I changed to two from six because I just don't have anything on two. Uh, mining mode, really don't need anything there. I don't really mine a lot, but if you do, just hit M and it's very standard what's here. Okay. Uh, let's see, moving along. Turrets, really nothing fancy there I've ever changed. Uh, weapons, of course, I do change. That's my, uh, I always use one grouping. So whenever I get into a ship, I'll group all the guns to left click. So I just pew, pew, pew. G is my secondary group. I only use that for EMP and the new Mantis Quantum Snare and Dampener. So if I'm in a support ship that has a feature like that, G is the hotkey that I'll use to activate those. J, of course, is my gimbal assist standard in auto modes, fixed. Uh, so I cycle between that. When I get in my ship, I just hit 8 and then J uh, to whatever I want to my turn my weapons onto. Uh, acquire missile lock. I really bind not to mouse two, but to middle mouse button. It just keeps changing right now. And if it does this, guys, uh, you're probably just going to have to reset everything and then change them all again. I'm going to have to reset this later on and uh, change this just to make sure that it's not going to stick to mouse two because I do have mouse two bound to something. It's just not this. So I, I want to change the acquire missile lock. You uh, press and then you hold. So that'll fire one missile. You can press, 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 and then hold. That'll fire three missiles, if you have them. Okay, so anything up to. My mouse two is actually launch countermeasures. Cycle countermeasure ammo is mouse wheel down. In this meta, missiles are very, very strong. I highly recommend you bind these two keys to something that's fast, because uh, if you waste any time, you're not gonna get one of these countermeasures off, and you have limited time to do it, and they work not that great. So it's gonna be a liability if you do not know where these keys are and you have to start fumbling around. So I highly recommend you change these to somewhere you can reach fast and you know it by memory. Also to cycle between two fast. That's why I have it set to mouse wheel down so I can just pop it down, hit right click, pop it down, hit right click, okay? So again, missiles are very fast. Size one and two missiles, they've increased the speed in 3.7. 
So they fly very, 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 very quickly in the PU, even with the lag that's there. You Normally you could outrun missiles based on the lag. These are very hard to outrun size one and two. All right? It only takes one or two missiles to kill your ship these days. Because again, they're extremely buffed and countermeasures are extremely lacking as they are. So you're not going to want to lag on those. Uh, everything else is pretty standard. I don't have um, numpad keys or anything like that, so I changed all these to up arrows and down arrows and slash to reset. I rarely ever use them. I have them set to voice attack, so I can just say left shield, right shield, things like that, or reset shield. Um, so I don't really mess with these keys. It's more of a spoken thing, and I really don't use it that much. Uh, they did take away the HP buff from the shields. It used to, if you hit you know, shield up, on the front a couple of times on the up arrow it would increase the shield HP of the front shield but then the other shields around it would get smaller because you're kind of taking the HP that doesn't work anymore um, they said it was only gonna increase the regen of shields now so uh, if you do get hit on one shield you know when it's down you can increase the regen rate on it uh, and kind of take away the regen from the other shield panels so and then you can of course reset it so it is good to be to have bound it's just not as important anymore. You can't just front load a front shield with HP and all that nonsense. It doesn't work like that anymore. So that's a big change that you should know. Uh, the power settings, this is for the power triangle. I've never really used the power triangle. Don't really need it. The way it works is not the way you think. If you have it set to like 100 guns, if your ship is fully redlining out of power, it's going to give as much power as it can to the guns and just guns. That's the way it works. It doesn't default give all the power to the guns. So it's only when your ship is kind of under stress. Uh, radar is the same, uh, the flight HUD is also the same, F1 open the Moby Glass, F2 open the map, so nothing's changed there, number three is lights, and the base, and the rest is basically um, the same, except for of course my push to talk on the ground is uh, mouse five, and uh, the VoIP push to talk for proximity only is caps lock, because those of course are in my ship, that's decoupled mode, and that is uh, change ESP. And if I'm out of my ship, I really won't need these anyways. So you can kind of double up on some things based on where you are, okay? If you're on the ground or whatnot. So this is kind of the way I have things set up, of course. Space break is uh, my mouse four, okay? So that way, you know, you can very easily keep maneuvering your ship, keep all your, your keys on or your hands on your keys. Uh, you're going to want to learn when to turn on decoupled mode and when not to. There are There's a couple of things that you need to know about decoupled mode and that is just the way the uh, speedometer works or accelerator as they call it these days. I just open my canopy, we'll close that. Oh, we just got out of the ship. Didn't realize you could actually do this in uh, Arena Commander. <laughs> so we'll enter back in. Because sometimes that happens uh, depending on where you click on the canopy and you're trying to show something, you will accidentally click leave seat, like I just did. So anyways, on the accelerator, uh, normally when you hit forward, it just goes up. When you let go of W, it goes down. Okay, in decoupled mode, that's not like that. It actually stays wherever you leave, so if you let up, it's still going to go this fast, okay? It's very important to realize and know that because you can do things like this on a high pass joust, you know, you're shooting, you're shooting, I'm in decoupled mode still, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, I'm shooting, and then now I'm not, and then we're just gonna boost, our, or boost ourselves the other way after we turn it off. So you can kind of exploit the flight model this way with decoupled mode uh, to get your shots in and then turn around very quickly. Otherwise, you're gonna have to do some kind of other maneuver, kind of like this, where you use your ship's thrusters to help you turn with brake at the same time and a little roll, but as you can see, it's a faster turnaround time. It doesn't actually make the bar go all the way down. So there's a couple of ways that you need to learn how to fly in this flight model, guys. And uh, being in here in Arena Commander uh, Free Flight, it'll help you once you get your options set where you want them to. So another big feature that you need to know about that'll affect your aiming is look ahead mode. I forgot about this one in the, uh, uh, I think it's movement. Yeah, I believe it's movement or targeting hotkeys, it's, it's Alt-M for me, um, but look ahead mode will change the way your head moves when you move your reticle, so like this, you can see there, and then I'm going to turn it on, and this is my head moving a little bit, it turns your head a little bit as you turn, 
but it also creates that weird sway and kind of rubber bandy effect if you go the other way. Like right now you can kind of see it jiggling back and forth, whereas it, with look ahead mode off like I just did there, it's a very smooth crosshair. So that's also something can that can affect your accuracy. It's called look ahead mode. We'll go ahead and find it right now for you guys because that is something that can uh, actually affect your accuracy and it's something that you're going to need to learn to uh, you know either use or not use it's it's going to be decided by uh, basically how you feel about it you know you're just gonna have to play with it so I believe look at there it is it is in targeting look ahead mode right here so you can change it in targeting it's just called look ahead mode you're gonna want to play with it just to see how you feel about it there's also other mouse modes that you can play with of course there's lead pip and uh, lag pip uh, reticles, lead pip is shooting at a little circle, lag pip is you have the circle and you're moving it on the ship wherever it is. I, I tend to use lead pip, I like shooting at the little pip circle thing, so uh, again this is just something, it's all up to preference. Use this as a guide, not really a uh, you know must do, so uh, this is kind of just for you to take in and uh, set up your own hotkeys. Knowing what's important and what's not important in this game, it will help you, you know, judge based on what you need. Uh, again, ESP I have bound to caps lock, so you can see it down there turning on and off on a whim. It's enhanced stick precision, by the way, guys. You're not really supposed to use it as a mouse, but sometimes the pips can get so jittery it does kind of help, and uh, other times it kind of hinders your turning and yaw and pitch, so you need to turn it off real quick uh, just to gain back on a target or gain forward of that target. So. Uh, those are little things that can help you. Also, you can use uh, decoupled to do that because you seem to turn quicker in flight with decoupled. So if you're having trouble chasing the target because some auto-aim feature is kind of keeping you from going max speed, then you can turn on decoupled real quick, get in front of it, and turn it off. So again, you can use that to your advantage. You can use turn off ESP to your advantage. Uh, snap pip to aim target should be off. That's not something that we like. Unless you like it, again, this is something for you to determine in Arena Commander. So there's a couple of different options to play around with and set for flight combat and once you know all your options that you like yourself that is half the battle of learning combat in this game so once you feel comfortable with your options and you have them set to where you want them uh, then you know just clicking left click it to, to kill something is very easy right uh, but flight in this game can be kind of difficult especially when there's all these settings and you don't know which ones kind of affect you and which ones don't so that's kind of my advice to you go through your key binds set them up the way you like them and make sure you're comfortable with flying make sure that you can fly your ship 100 percent of the time unhindered so there's no hotkeys you're pushing to keep you from flying your ship on your left hand things like that like space break for instance so we'll we'll go over some more i'll have another tutorial coming up with the stats of uh, 3.7 so we'll be going over that in part two of this video but for right now I'm gonna end it because I just wanted to make a quick little video showing keybinds and uh, what I think are best for 3.7 so use it as a guideline again doesn't have to be perfect alright thanks guys